Hello. In this short video, I want to talk about the new uh, Azure DevOps chocolatey extension uh, that's just been pushed to the Azure DevOps marketplace. This extension is uh, similar in many respects to the NuGet uh, extension that exists for Azure DevOps, and it allows you to uh, execute chocolatey uh, as part of your Azure DevOps pipeline. So you can see it here. Uh, if you want to get it installed, all you've got to do is hit the Get It Free uh, button, and that will allow you to install it uh, into your organization of choice. So that's what I've done uh, over here on this uh, test, uh, chocolatey test. Azure DevOps project that I have. So in this project, I've got uh, two new spec files. Uh, and what I can do is in my pipeline, uh, I can go and have a look here and I can add a new task to this pipeline specifically to, to do chocolatey functions. So if I look here in the build, I'll see chocolatey down here, or if I, I can also search for it. So I'm gonna go, click and, go ahead and click add. Uh, and in this task, what you actually have are a number of uh, chocolatey commands that you can execute. Um, so all of the main uh, build related uh, commands for Chocolatey are in here and available for you to use. So if, for example, you wanted to configure a source uh, as a first part of your build pipeline to then allow you to push packages or to install packages uh, from a certain location, that's what you can do within uh, this command where you can say to add a source, remove a source, enable a source, or disable a source. Um, other uh, commands such as uh, configuring an API key for pushing, uh, executing uh, chocolatey config commands. So if you needed to set a specific uh, chocolatey uh, configuration, you can select it from the drop-down list here and then apply a value to it. Um, the other one uh, that is of interest is this custom command. So if there is, is a chocolatey command that uh, you need to execute, but it, if there isn't a specific command for it within the, uh, uh, the, the, the task here, you can uh, choose to do whatever you want. So as example, if I go in here and say uh, list local only, that's not a command that is explicitly included within the task. But if we run this, we'll see that uh, a build is created, a build is queued, and if we let that execute, that chocolate list local only command will be executed on the build agent that this build is running on, and uh, it will show us uh, all what packages are currently installed on that build agent. So as some of you might know, uh, the build agent that is available in Azure DevOps already has chocolate installed, and Chocolate is actually used to install some packages onto that build agent as part of the creation of that build image. So what this will let us see, if we watch the output here, we'll see that I think there's about 20 packages uh, already installed on this uh, build agent. So if we cl click back into this and have a look at the uh, uh, the output, we'll see that all of these packages were installed and available as part of Chocolatey. So if the uh, task doesn't include the com specific command that you're interested in, you can certainly uh, run a comp custom one completely. Now, what most people want to do as part of their build uh, is to run a pack. So we want to uh, pack the new spec files that are part of our uh, repository and then push them to a repository. So I'll just give a quick example of the pack command. So in this scenario, uh, we saw that I've actually got two new spec files within the, the the, the repository that I'm running here. So I can say select uh, multiple new spec files and then my working directory is where those new spec files are gonna be located. So that's just by default, this repository local path. Uh, but obviously you can specify a folder within the, uh, the path that you want. You can also specify obviously the output directory where you want those uh, generated nutkegs to exist. I'm just gonna choose the default here, which is the RFAX directory. So if I go ahead and save and queue that build again, what we'll see happen is that chocolate again will be uh, triggered. It will be passed in the location of that new spec file, and then it will generate the uh, new packages or nut kegs uh, as part of the build. So we'll see that happen here uh, as part of this build step. So let's just let that run through. And the output of that should obviously be uh, take those new spec files, uh, run them through Choco Pack, and then place them onto the file system where we specified them to go. So we saw that fly past there, but if I click in here again, we'll see that it's taken that uh, get 13 new spec and it's put it into this location. And then I've got a test package new spec and it's put it into that location there. So hopefully this will be of use to you. Uh, some of you might know that there were already some chocolatey extensions in the Azure DevOps marketplace. Unfortunately, uh, they at least one of them has fallen out of maintenance and it doesn't work anymore and the other one 
doesn't explicitly include all of the uh, chocolate commands that are of use as part of the build. So as a result of that, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and create this uh, to work in uh, unison, uh, or to at least to uh, fit with the uh, Visual Studio for Code uh, extension that I've also got for Chocolatey. So hopefully this will be of use to you. Uh, feel free to reach out on uh, the GitHub uh, repository if you have any questions about anything. Thank you very much.